we have uh, a graph, for example, this one. Some code for computing here. Uh, in particular, it's based on the statistical uh, package R. How do we run this program? Um, the easiest way is uh, using the command R. Okay, this is the syntax. R, an option that, uh, required, that is required to tell the system that you want it to exit without making questions, without saving the environment and so on. And then, sorry, I wrote twice. You need to redirect the standard input from file uh, pagerank.r, which is the common file that you've seen here. This is uh, some sample uh, lines that uh, should help you understand what's going on where you compute the page and score of the graph. Here I define this adjacency matrix. Okay, graph. Uh, Rbind is uh, a, a common that glues together row vectors. The vector is introduced by C and enclosed in parentheses. So here I define a matrix called the graph. A pure adjacency matrix where one represents the existence of a link. For example, I get the, side, the number of nodes in the graph as the length of one of its rows, for example. We want to compute the page rank score. So, we take the matrix and, uh, as you remember, the first thing that we have to do is normalize it so that every row has a sum equal to 1. Let's build the page rank vector, so the vector of probabilities or of prestige. In this case, okay, I create a matrix that contains a 1 in the first position and then it repeats 0 for the remaining n minus 1. Uh, we can choose Either we uh, make a, put a 1 in the first uh, entry and 0 in the others, or maybe we just uh, repeat the same value for all entries, making it a, a uniform vector. To apply the algorithm, uh, we don't need this normalized matrix, but it's transpose, but transposing a matrix very easy. You have the function T for that. So I create a new matrix TL that transposes the value of L. And then, okay, let's forget about this commented row. So this is the, side, the loop that recomputes every time um, the uh, page rank score. And we do it in a very simple way. We take this is the matrix uh, multiplication, okay, percent, uh, start percent. So here we are actually computing P equal to matrix uh, product P. We do it a lot of times. So the basic iteration of page rank is just repeating this line, okay. Applying again and again matrix, uh, the, the, our matrix to the vector. And what we get okay it's this result okay in this case I made 100 applications of the matrix to the vector and I got this you see here I printed the first iterations of uh, the algorithm in the first iteration you see Actually, the one that was in first position moved to the second position, which is what we expect, because the only move that the user can make from node 1 is going to node 2. And then the second move is necessarily to node 3. Subsequently, after the user is in node 3, then the probability splits between nodes 1 and 4, which is what happens here, 
and then it proceeds to becoming more and more complex until we get a distribution here which is not yet the final one because you see that from step to step it keeps changing actually if I put again a 100 here Okay, now you can see that the, the iteration, so this is the 99th iteration, this is the 100th iteration, they have more or less stabilized, they only change in the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7th decimal place. Okay, this is what we do with the power iterations. So with repeating the application of the matrix to the, uh, the, the, the prestige, the probability vector. But what we can do is also try to solve exactly the page rank equation. Remember that the page rank equation is simply uh, P equal AP. This is an uh, eigenvector equation that asks the system to find the the eigenvector of the matrix having eigenvalue equal to 1. But in general, given the matrix A, <coughs> an eigenvector is some vector where the matrix operates just by scaling it without either moving or rotating it. So, <coughs> It's every vector that is changed by matrix A by just uh, extending or uh, shortening it, uh, where the amount of extension or shortening is called uh, eigenvalue, and a vector that uh, receives this treatment is called eigenvector. How can we find the vector? We can ask R to compute an eigenvalue, a spectral decomposition of the matrix by this command, eigen, eigen applied to a square matrix, will try to compute all eigenvalues and all eigenvectors of the matrix. If I do it, will uh, uh, return two matrices. One is the matrix of eigenvalues and one is the matrix of eigenvectors. In this case we are interested in the eigenvalue having value 1, which is the first. And we are particularly interested in the corresponding eigenvector, which is this first column. Okay, this first column reports the exact, meaning that uh, it has done lots of uh, iterations to get it, the exact value for the eigenvector. As you can see, this is not exactly the numbers that we got before. Before we got uh, 0 0.125, meaning 1.8, and 0 0.25, meaning uh, 1.4. Actually, if you see, element 1 is still uh, double of element 2. So if we renormalize these values by requiring that their sum is 1, we get actually the values that we want. 